cracks in brick, cracks in block, sticking windows or doors, settling or sinking foundation, it's a fact. Foundation problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 12th of April. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather relatively quiet today, but we're expecting an organized batch of storms late tomorrow night, early Thursday morning. Those storms could be strong to severe. Let's talk about it. This is the upper air look. We have troughing evolving over the western part of the country. That brought some pretty rough weather to parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas last night. Around here, we have a weakening batch of showers over the Tennessee Valley early this morning, about 5 o'clock. But again, much of the day today for Alabama should be dry with only isolated showers. Temperatures have really not moved much over the past 24 hours. We've got to 60s early this morning. We're expecting highs in the upper 70s. Some spots may be touching 80 today with some sunshine at times. Here's the watch warning map. Very active out west and up north. Blizzard warnings for parts of the Dakotas and Montana. We've got red flag warnings down into parts of west Texas. The east is quiet. Another active day for thunderstorms. We have a chance of severe storms from Texas and Louisiana to parts of Minnesota, Iowa, and Wisconsin. A couple of enhanced risks in there. Tomorrow, a chance of severe storms from the western Gulf Coast region to parts of the Great Lakes area. The broad zone from uh, Houston, New Orleans, Mobile, up to Milwaukee, Chicago, and Grand Rapids. And keep in mind, this outlook extends through 7 a.m. Thursday. We have the higher tornado probabilities north and west of Alabama. And that hatched area means there could be a strong tornado or two in there. That's EF2 or higher. In Alabama, we have a level 3 out of 5 enhanced risk, kind of clipping the far northwestern corner of the state. Uh, the shoals down to about Vernon and Millport. Most of north and central Alabama in a slight risk, level 2 out of 5, areas in yellow. And then a marginal risk, level 1 out of 5, down into parts of southeast Alabama. And much more on this and the timing here in a moment. And then after 7 a.m. Thursday, a marginal risk for the southeastern corner of Alabama, and that extends up the Atlantic coast. Here's the rain for the next seven days, and we'll see multiple rounds of rain for our state. The rain amounts between 2 and 3 inches for the north, 1 to 2 inches for the south. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06C run, valid today at 4. There's your big trough in the west that is progressive. Down below that, a deep surface low, 983 millibars over the middle of the country. That's going to set up a blizzard for parts of the Dakotas today and severe storms south and east of the surface low, east of the dry line. And again, all of that action today will be west of Alabama. Here, a mix of sun and clouds with only isolated showers, highs 77 to 81. Tomorrow, that deep surface low is over North Dakota. Still snowing up there. They're going to be buried. It's going to be nasty. Uh, storms uh, during the day tomorrow, mainly west of Alabama. The bulk of the day tomorrow should be dry with highs around 80. And then a line of storms pushing in here late tomorrow night. So let's go to high resolution modeling. Now, this is tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock. The main band of storms is over Arkansas. But you can see out ahead of that, a little line of showers pushing into northwest Alabama. Those are not expected to be severe. That main line over Arkansas is what you're going to be watching for. This is midnight tomorrow night, the main line pushing into northwest Alabama. So let's check these severe weather parameters. This is the instability. Values are generally under 1,000 joules per kilogram, but you don't need that much this time of the year, but that certainly will be decreasing as we go through the night. Shear values are moderate. Uh, that certainly would support some rotating updrafts. This is the STP, the significant tornado parameter at midnight tomorrow night, the higher values over Mississippi. And notice the STP really drops off by 3 a.m. as the line pushes into Alabama and the dynamic support weakens. Uh, this is what the radar should look like at 3 a.m. The line of storms from near uh, Scottsboro down to about Tuscaloosa, uh, Cullman and Tuscaloosa. And again, typically in a line like this, the main threat's going to be strong winds, but there could be an isolated tornado. But uh, again, a very windy, gusty line of storms in the middle of the night. And then by 5 a.m., that line of storms is coming on through Birmingham and Gadsden, should be weakening at that point. And then by 8 o'clock, the line of storms pushing into Montgomery. So in terms of the timing, the uh, window for the heavier storms late tomorrow night, 11 p.m. until 3 a.m. for the northwestern counties. Uh, for Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, Demopolis, Selma, 2 to 6 a.m. 
and then southeast Alabama, 5 to 10 a.m. Uh, and it's a middle of the night deal. And understand with we always say this, but it's true with thunderstorms, expect the unexpected. So while this uh, looks like just kind of a gusty, windy line of storms, uh, there might be an isolated tornado in there. So be sure you have your weather radio on and the battery in there installed is fresh. And uh, have your phone, uh, don't use the do not disturb feature so you can get the warnings in the middle of the night if they are needed. And of course, we'll be watching the system carefully as it approaches by Thursday afternoon. We're in drier air, the sky clearing. High will be in the 70s. Friday, most of the state dry, uh, partly sunny with highs in the 70s, maybe a shower for the southwestern counties of the state. And then the front's going to kind of meander back and forth here for the weekend, making for Kind of unsettled weather. This is Saturday. Looks fairly wet. Not going to rain all day, but periods of rain are likely. High Saturday, again, mid-70s. There is some instability Saturday, so there might be a rumble of thunder. Don't expect any severe weather. And then Easter Sunday, uh, evidence that the showers will be fewer in number. Uh, there'll be a few showers around, but not as many. Again, the high will be in the 70s. Monday, same thing. That uh, frontal boundary just hanging around. And then finally, by Tuesday, we get a good push of drier air. We've got 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, April 21st, troughing to the north. And evidence a cold front will be pushing through with a chance of showers and storms. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The green line is what you're looking for. That's the mean, about three inches between now and the 26th of April. Highs around 80 today and tomorrow, then mostly 70s. We note that pretty good pop of cooler air next week. Uh, this is showing 66 on Tuesday. And then we go back in the 70s. And the latest CPC guidance, April 19th through the 25th. A lot of blue for the eastern part of the country, meaning temperatures are expected to be below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog the next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Cracks in brick, cracks in block, call Alabama Professional Services. Leaning or bowing basement walls, call APS. Sticking windows or doors, call APS. Settling or sinking foundation, that's right, call APS. It's a fact, foundation problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Call Alabama Professional Services today.